Can you tell us about your transition from professional dancer to company director? I've had an unusual, really, uh, career, um, not the way that it normally happens, I suppose. Uh, when I was uh, thinking about stopping dancing, I'd had a great career, I'd been very lucky, had done everything I really wanted to do. Um, had, a, it, had really an injury-free career, and then actually towards the end of it had uh, knee operations, and so was thinking about when I wanted to retire, and I always had, for some reason, 35 seemed a good age to, to call it a day. And uh, I'd... I'd had some, you know, experience putting galas together, charity galas, sort of choreographic workshops. So I thought maybe this is something that I'd like to do. So I was very lucky. Some people uh, put me in touch with different people within the arts world. So I spent some time with Rombo Dance Company just to see how another company works. And then I had a sort of experience with the Royal Shakespeare Company. And I worked with them for nearly a year in company management, training in company management, and then becoming an assistant company manager manager with the Royal Shakespeare Company, which was wonderful, but then uh, the calling of the dance and the ballet world really um, it was too much to resist, so I went back to Birmingham Royal Ballet as company manager and then joined the Royal Ballet as company manager and then became the administrative director. So it's very much in that sort of uh, management, administration side of the work. And, uh, and then when the, the job was advertised for the director of the Royal Ballet, uh, which is really the artistic director, I, in the end I thought why not go for it and, and with all my experience as a performer but then also my experience as a manager hopefully the two could really work well together and, uh, and do some good for the company. Well, here you are. Yeah, somehow. <laughs> it's pretty insightful of you to ver um, diversify your career from a dancer into mm -hmm administration mm -hmm. and, and business as well, so it's great that... You well, it's wonderful. When I was the administrative director, I used to say I was there to make uh, Dame Monica Mason's vision a reality. And uh, so now when I'm thinking about my vision and what I want the company to do, in the back of my head is also what it needs to make that work. And, I, and so I, there's a little bit of a practical side there somewhere back there. So uh, just to say, yes, that can work, or if we do this, this year and then we can do it something else the next year. So I think the two balances, of course, is a, I have a brilliant team around me, but it, it's great to have both those sides to, to those voices in my head. Front and back of house. Yes, yes. Yeah.